Hello, this video will give you a brief introduction to finding and using uniform titles when you are searching for music in the library catalog. Searching by title for printed or recorded music is different from searching for books. A title like Charlotte's Web is distinctive. It refers to one specific work of literature. Many works of music, on the other hand, have what we call generic titles. Generic titles are genre names, such as symphony, sonata, concerto, chorale, etc. In the case of Haydn's drum roll symphony, symphony is the genre word. The drum roll symphony can be accurately referred to by a number of names, a few of which are listed here. Music crosses language boundaries, so many excellent scores and recordings in the collection were published in non-English speaking countries. Non-English resources might represent the title in other ways. Keep in mind that the music represented by all of these titles is exactly the same. It's the title that's different. Searching music sounds like a mess, right? So how do libraries deal with it? By using uniform titles. In cases like these, librarians use a prescribed system to create a uniform title, one that can be the same or uniform for every record in the catalog. The uniform title for the drum roll is Symphonies H1103, E flat major. By adding this point of access to each record for the drum roll, no matter what the title on the score or recording reads, you, the user, can pull all instances of that piece in one search. Let's look at the construction of a generic uniform title. In general, the uniform title will begin with a genre or form, which will be plural if the composer wrote more than one work in that particular form. Unless the form implies a specific performance medium, like a symphony or a song, the form name will be followed by the performance medium. After that, the opus or dedicated catalog number may follow, and often the key. Let's have a look at Beethoven's Pathétique Sonata. It can be known by many names, most commonly among English speakers, as the Pathétique, but its uniform title is Sonata's Piano, number 8, opus 13, C minor. Dvorak's New World Symphony is a similar piece. We call it the New World Symphony, but it has a similar name in many other languages. Librarians have given it the uniform title, Symphonies, number 9, opus 95, E minor. It's not uncommon for a work of music to have a distinctive title and still need a uniform title. Take a look at these well-known works. We know them by their translated names, the Magic Flute, the Firebird, and the Well-Tempered Clavier. But Mozart and Bach were German speakers. Stravinsky was Russian, so they titled their works in their native languages. In cases like these, the uniform title is the name of the work in the original language. This has been a very brief introduction to what a uniform title is and how it works. 